live. Go ahead, unmute y'all. Did it show up? Did it show up? Did it show up? There we go. Did it show up? Did it show up? Did it show up? There we go. I got this shit playing two times. Mute that. All right, everybody. We're about to do some film study on Zach Charbonnet. Running back for the UCLA Bruins. If you like this type of stuff, we appreciate you guys. We're just going to chill and watch his nine yard per carry day that he had against Utah. And we'll also we'll also watch every play on their offense, too, because um, I do want to see um, Doran Thompson Robinson play as well. So, yeah, we shall see what the deal is. Let me put the chat right there. All right. Uh, and then I'll pull up the film here. UCLA versus Utah. Oh, I gotta get I gotta get it to show up for you guys too. Hold on. <laughs> Let me not forget. Let me not forget, homie. Charles Cameron. They say y'all don't be y'all don't know nothing about college. Y'all don't be watching the film. What? I love those comments. I live for those. It's gonna be a good one. I haven't watched too much of uh of Zach Charbonnet's film. So not gonna say I'm the best when it comes to watching UCLA play football. Alright, there we go. Got the chat right there. There. And then we're going to bring the UCLA film in right here. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. <laughs> My virus protector keeps coming on. There ain't no viruses on this computer. <laughs> I scan it every. It's like stop. <laughs> All right. The Rose Bowl. People love the Rose Bowl. I mean, it's all right. Like. there make sure make sure the youtube ops don't get us for copyright infringement put that down there bam it's the filter that works right here boy all right cam rising with too big of a helmet he said why is your helmet so big that dude came out like a dart hold on let me fix this real quick that Some of the Cut some of the game off right there. All right, we in there like swimmy wear. 
what is happening? All about, Spence. They want to run downhill and out Chip Kelly by Dixes. They get the ball. <coughs> I just love us to be in this Utah four play. Jack Bomeister punts it away. That's Logan Loya with a fair catch at the 12 yard line. This is a little the upset after year. after this previous week of NFL. I'm a little upset he didn't try to return that for a touchdown. <laughs> he had a blown opportunity right there. Nor did I, but we're in Keith Jackson's facility, and we are going to see, I think, two of the best quarterbacks in the country, not just this league, but the country. Dorian Thompson Robinson, to me, is more than just a fancy moniker, Tim. He's really evolved into a player that can be a difference maker. Now, All right. Fake handoff. Number 19, got it. Dang. First down. That was too easy. Man, he palming over with number 11, though. <laughs> was that Diabate? Was that Muhammad Diabate? Don't let me find out it was Diabate. Damn, he pummeled over number 11. Who number? Hold on. I'm pretty sure that's Diabate. And if that's the case, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Dorian Thompson Robinson. Yo, that dude still had five touchdowns. Last week against USC. Right. What, what killed him was those three turnovers. Right. But he was the only one playing. He was the only one that showed up. Ooh. Ah, no, Diabate's three. Never mind. That other than Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin, I don't know a team that's getting more from the transfer portal so far this season than UCLA. Well, they've done a great job at key mission critical positions, particularly. That was a good run. A little pitch off. This Morgan Scally defense digging in the air hole. I see him. Clark Phillips, the cornerback, coming up to show you how he can make plays on Charbonnet, a fifth year senior. Guys, been around. Look, it's that formation, bro. It's that formation. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Oh, you gotta catch that. Yeah, catch that. That man got the hands of Josh Jacobs. Damn, 500. Six total. Y'all's offense? God damn. Mm-hmm. We got a bunch of finger pointing. David Cutcliffe, the longtime coach. The defender was not in the neutral zone. False start. Offense number 72 at 57. Five yard penalty. Third down. Good call, Spencer. The yep. Giorgio, the guilty party. Those guys are Jake Bobo. Charbonnet in motion. Ooh, is that Jake Bobo? Yep, oh, that's him. Jake Bobo. Yeah, how come the video that we did last night where I had a little bit of lo-fi hip-hop on that is royalty-free, how did it get copyrighted? Which one? The pause reveal, did? Yeah. It was weird. That don't make no sense. Not at all. All right, so they kicked that one. What up, Sergeant? How buns is Zach Wilson? Man. Booty butt butt. Well, can I, can I, uh, like my, my, uh, brother said it on Twitter, like in my words, but. Uh, I'm gonna go with another one. Uh, how buns is he? He's ass, 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 ass. Y'all know that's, 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 that's what it is. <laughs> <He's a song. laughs> Boy's ass. Man. Man, man, the NFL really got fooled by one throw in his pro day. Mm. They did the same thing with uh, Malik, Malik Willis. Willis. Malik Willis. <laughs> you basically doing a seven on seven, not a seven on seven, but you basically practicing. Oh, you hate to see it. 
Oh, I thought they was about to punt. What? Cam Rising coming out this year. He got. He's saying. I think, I think he's, he's got to. Year. Yeah, I think he's got to. I think okay. I seen him. Oh, okay, okay. That was a good interception. Hold up, let's go back and watch <laughs> that. Ooh. Ooh my goodness. Why'd he throw that? <laughs> targeting. What are they reviewing for tar who targeted? What's happening? Let's watch it again. Ah yeah, that dude he just I got guess this dude right here. What? Probably probably the last one when the dude came on top of him. I think it was dude in the backfield. I think they're gonna show it. It was number four. He uh, he disqualified. Mm. Show the replay, man. Show it. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, oh, it was, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was after the interception. Damn. Yep. Get him out of there. <laughs> Don't be upset, dog. You knew it. You knew it was targeted. Oh, uh, Mike Pereira, everybody's favorite. All right, let's get back to UCLA. Is it Zach is really that dude? I ain't talking about Zach Wilson. I'm talking about the better Zach. Oh. Good dump off pass. That's Allen. Number 19 is Allen. Why do I wear the black helmets all the time like that? You already know I got to get my analysis on the jerseys. It wouldn't it wouldn't <laughs> be a stream without me talking about the design of some jerseys or something. I was about to say, let's hear it real quick. We haven't gotten it yet. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. Although he need to unhook the trailer with his slow ass. Come on, man. Manuel Acho don't need to be calling nobody trash. Him and his brother were both trash in the NFL. Actually, that whole jersey combo for Utah is kind of cool. I like it. Mm. Yep. I haven't really seen any blocking from Zach Charbonnet yet. So that's one thing I do want to focus on. I know he went off this game. So get the dirt out your helmet, yeah, young man. man. That was a little, uh, that pass, that type of pass, one of those passes right there that'll just tie off your hand. Blow a hole through your hand. <laughs> like Coach's shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they call you up for targeting? Oh, right? Golly. We need to we need to figure out what's targeting and what's not. Yeah, uh, nobody knows. Good little run. That yeah. run was meant to get the first down, that's it. So, just to keep in mind. This dude had nine yards a carry. That wasn't one of them. Wow, why to stay patient and move your feet in the pocket, right. though? Okay, Dorian, hold up. You might be going a little higher on my quarterback board. All right. That's what we should do at the end of the year. Like, come draft yeah. time, make our own board of all positions. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, for real, for real, yo. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the Since, time. You know, yeah. we actually watch college. We can actually, you know, <laughs> explain it better. Yeah. Turn two, trip sponge. <coughs> oh, my lungs. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I wasn't even close. And Utah's got one of the best defenses. They are top 10 defense in, the, in college. 
Hey, that was like that was a quarterback sneak, but that's like a damn quarterback run right there. That's a quarterback yeah. sneak if Moses was in charge of the entire O line. That man just split open the red seat. Yo, it was actually a quarterback like, sneak. It just he got the he got that so was many a, yards. That was like a nine yeah. yard quarterback sneak. Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen Hurts stamp of the, approval. They really missed Devin Lloyd right there. Yeah, they did. They replaced man. they replaced him with Diabate. That's probably the longest quarterback sneak of far, far as far as far as yard. Yeah, it was. Right now. Mm -hmm. He might as well just stood up tall and just ran. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Imagine if that was Cam Newton. He that would have been a touchdown. He'd have been yeah. gone, yeah. <laughs> Again, that got the that got the Jalen Hurts stamp of approval. That's the ninety two percent right there of working. I, I guess this is the filter to have on when whenever we do film reviews because this this shit ain't acting up at all do i know i said this little filter i got on obs ah. another handoff Ooh. he took it just now during top center opposite that keeper ah, uh, might as well hey, hey that that would be a perfect quarterback for the nfl do a three quarterback and Absolutely. you go to a, a system. You go to a system that can predicate hit that can uh put an offense. You create an off whatever coach get them. They create an offensive system just evolving around his game alone. He's a good, he's a good damn player, bro. From what I've seen. Mm -hmm. I like I like that call by Chip Kelly. He's got the juice right now, so just keep giving it. Let him do what he's got, got to do. It fit that fits his game perfectly, though, for Dorian uh, Thompson Robinson. I hate Chip Kelly. That man ruined me. He's a bad NFL coach, but he's a great. I, I know he is. <laughs> I know he's all right at college, but still. Because UCLA, was, I mean, UCLA I'm was still dog shit bitter. before he got there. I mean, you, you got you think, he didn't have also like I say Dorian Thompson Robinson and Marcus Mariota. I think those are his type of quarterbacks though. Yeah, where his offense can really show the Chip Kelly offense can really show with the zone read with the zone read and stuff like that. And you know he puts he fits his his uh, offensive uh, game plan around his quarterback skill set. He got he had Marcus Mariota who was a dual threat. Now he's got him as a dual threat. He's got him as a dominant dual threat, so he knows how to use quarterbacks like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in college, I in college, you got kids that's out here working out, they in shape and stuff. So you know, when you do that up tempo stuff, when you do that up tempo stuff, that fits right into them college kids' favor. Not mm -hmm. so much of the NFL. NFL ain't used to that that much. You know who DTR would be good on? Imagine him with the Jets, with uh, Ooh, Wilson, yeah. with Wilson, Elijah Moore, that backfield of Michael Carter, James Robinson, um, Brees Hall. Imagine him on the Jaguars. He Fuck. will say the Jaguars. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying, bro. Imagine. I him know on who Dante Jaguars, wants as his dog. quarterback now. Mm. Good play action right there. Oh wait, let's, let's go back. That's the pretty you just got receivers just running wide open. Yeah, I mean the it's ETR to the Titans. Oh, Malik Willis will never see the light of day. Oh, absolutely. Malik Willis would be a backup. He's, for he's the rest superior. Of his life. He's superior to Malik Willis. Wait, I can't wait to see. Oh my God! Think about all the all the seniors this year that are going to be at the Senior Bowl. Oh, and that he gets to throw to. Oh, that's going to be awesome to watch. Man, we're, this is going to be a privilege. <laughs> a privilege and an honor. Because a lot of these kids that are coming out are uh, are, are COVID, COVID guys at State. Yeah. My goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, he to that <laughs> Bro, he took he that off the court. That's a five. That's a five. That's a five. <laughs> that's a five right there. <laughs> hey, go back to an ECG watch at the end of this. Look, look at this replay. Look at this replay. Go back to it one time. He tried to punish that dude on purpose. Too. He didn't even run out of bounds. But I said, look, he wasn't even going out of bounds. Watch. He tried to punish that like, dude. I'm mm -hmm. going to get all the yards look that can. Oh. Mm. Boom. <laughs> And it still took two people to tackle him. Yeah, it did. <laughs> he didn't even. Run. Most running backs would have went out of bounds. 
What did Marshawn Lynch say? Run through a motherfucker face. (laughs) That was the definition of fuck around, find out. Uh, Yeah, fuck around and find out right there. Most running backs would have went out of bounds on that mud. That dude chopped the lily punch. Oh, not a screenplay. Uh, Not a screen. I'm sick of screens. (laughs) I tell you, Oregon ran them all day. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It was working, though. Do they wear a formation? Or do do, they... a uh, double stack on on, the, on each sideline, and then have two dudes come back in on the bubble. You get to choose where you want to throw it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I can agree with that side. You know, all three all three of the games should be good tomorrow. They got in the wishbone formation. Mm, the throw is a little behind them, but I still like it. I like the decision. UCLA got some good wide receivers too. They got some okay, solid wide receivers. This is mm-hmm. be a really good quarterback class. Telling you, this is the deepest quarterback class of all right. time. Yeah, like of all time. I feel bad for anybody that needed that drafted a quarterback last year because they pretty much can easily be replaced with these guys. Yep, quarterback keeper. Ooh, out of bounds. Ooh. Look at me. Oh, and he get in his face. Yeah. What's that dude's name? Fillinger. <laughs> look, look, look! Take your dumbass back to the side. <laughs> Dumbass back. Any bit. Yeah, he Look at that. He any bit. Yeah, he <laughs> a bit hard. Mm. I mean, number eight tried to get to him. That dude Bishop. Yeah, tried. tried. Him and Phil- Fillinger was like, DTR he's laughing. Ain't nothing to laugh help. about. Y'all ass got exposed. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is he gonna do it again? Oh, thought it was gonna go. again. He's gonna get the first now. Is eight, that eight for nine hundred and ten yard Dorian Thompson Robinson? Uh, Going into the second quarter. Damn, it's already the second quarter. Shit. Utah must have been having some long ass drives. Pause. <laughs> and I think besides the uh targeting, I don't think there's been really any penalties. Touchdown. Oh my goodness. And Jake, what guess what? That's my boy, Jake Bobo. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jake yeah. Bobo. Justin <laughs> Herbert. Justin Herbert. Right? Oh, my goodness. Bro, imagine if Jake Bobo went to the Chargers. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be weird. <laughs> what if they line him up at quarterback one time? You couldn't tell. Right. They have him in the backfield. It's like, who, who, who got the ball? Was it Bobo or Herbert? There's an aerial flood advisory, by the way. Just letting y'all know that. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> I don't know. California, I guess. That was a good play by Cam Rising. Cam Rising's good, man. Yeah, it's done with these long ass drives. Okay. All right, all three games should be good tomorrow. Yeah, they should. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! Got to cut to the outside on that. Five. Number eight is just he's trying to get there. He he's trying his best, man. Why'd he put his arms down so slow? He's trying, man. He tried to put the husband stiff arm on him.
there goes that man. Oh, oh he's my still going. goodness, brother. Oh, he's still going. Oh, my oh, goodness my gracious. Goodness. Great vision, great awareness, using all the tools in the toolkit. We might have to wait for Coach to get back on that one. We might have to review that right, one again. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're gonna have to look at oh, that one watch, again. We'll watch that one back when Coach get back. <laughs> we'll act like we didn't see it yet. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll just <laughs> pretend. And before Coach was wearing his headphones the entire time, and he knows. I'm gonna just put this on their NCAA 14 on uh on Twitch. Psych. All right, Coach. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Yeah, my uh, auntie over here. We finna get ready. They finna get ready. To cook. Get ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Oh. oh snap. That's amazing to be able to get out of something like that. Right. That's all, to, yeah. to lose only a yard out of all of that when it was looking like a six yard loss. Mm-hmm. Davis Mills ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Dorian might need to put on a little bit a little bit of weight before he gets in, but he's not on the bench he won't. <laughs> 130 passing yards, 147. Oh, that was total. Never mind. My man, look goodness. at that big old hole. Man, that dude running hard. Man, oh, <laughs> look goodness. at him go. He's, got <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> the guy got number 16. Oh, goodness, brother. <laughs> and he gonna run right through you too, bro. Mm -hmm. He running right through you. Watch how he do number 16. Number 91 over pursued to play. Look how he did number 16. He just did. Look, he just ran the two on purpose and, and he fell. He <laughs> fell, damn. <laughs> he ran into him on purpose. Don't get exposed like this, good sir. Oh, you know, I already know some uh, people going to say, oh, Zach Sharpen ain't that good. He ain't that good. He ain't good. But we got to tell. We got to let him know. Mm hmm the vision was incredible it's just the way to do run the do run hard man i like that and yeah, he tried to run over you every time i see kyle whittington bro i'm gonna think of damn mike mayock bro <laughs> <laughs> bro ain't nobody want to see your goofy ass right now get back to the game Yep, Dorian Thompson Robinson put a little bit more weight on. He's gonna be the prototypical quarterback in the NFL, bro. Imagine if he was as, as big as Cam Newton. Man, oh boy, he still was dragging number he still forty-seven. Was dragging though. number forty-seven. He struggled to even get him down. He struggled to get get him down.
Mm, there's that flood warning again. Shout out to the people in Pima County. He's <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, that's definitely in California. <laughs> Santa Rita Mountains, including Bisbee, Canelo Hills, Madero Canyon, and Upper San Pedro River Valley, <laughs> including Sierra Vista Benson. Download the cold weather app for live updates. The K O L D. That's cold. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> I thought that was a bruise on Jake Bobo's arm. I was about to say, God damn, brother. Know the difference between being hurt and injured. Yup. Chip Kelly, probably. A lot of people don't know, don't know the difference of that, being hurt and injured. Mm -mm. You don't know that, people, you need to know it right now. If you're hurt, you don't play. If you're injured, that's a different thing. If you're injured, that's a different thing. You can play through an injury. If you're hurt, you don't play through it. When they start having the electronic uh, down markers, so. I just noticed that like this year. Um, that's an excellent question. All right, sharpen and motion. They about to stack four over there on Will Routes open. Ooh, touchdown. Oh, Ooh, that could have been a great pass. Let's see if that was a, if that could have been called. Oh, that's though. your boy Dive Bay. Uh, Dive oh, that's Jake Bobo. Diabate. Diabate. Hey, check it out. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pause it here, right? Look at I look at Zach Sharpen. You see the you see the defender coming on him. Boy. But look on a one on one match. Sharpen they wide open too. He was yeah. He, look. If he threw it to him, he would have had an easy Look right there. Had, right there, I would have thrown it. Because the dude's committing in the inside. I would have thrown it to Zach Charbonnet right there. And a one-on-one -on -one matchup, he would have destroyed that dude. That would have been a touchdown. Oh, you, that's what you're talking about, Sora, right there, number three, Diamante. He's got the strength of a wet noodle. <laughs> Oh my Ooh, goodness! He, he, he got away with one. It. He could arguably caught it too. He did get away with one too. He grabbed him too. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why he made the stop because he knew he got away with it. <laughs> Come on, dog. He can't do it legitimately, so he has to cheat to get away with these things. Right, right side hash. Ooh, that was a difficult kick to make. Did he miss it? Yeah, that was a difficult yeah, kick did. to make though. Yeah, oh my goodness! Look at all. It's all the way on the far side hash right there. Yep. Yeah. I don't blame him on that. People yeah, that I said, can. oh, he should have made that. Motherfucker, you ain't never kicked a football in your life. <laughs> that shit ain't I, I ain't gonna lie, I would have missed that. If I would have kicked that, I would have missed that. I'd miss a fucking one-yard field goal. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> I would have missed that if I would have My oh, dad could probably make it. He was a punter. Yeah. Now, if, the, now, if it was in a straight angle, he probably he would have made it. I don't think he would have did. Yeah, if it was about three yards over, he probably would have made it. Yeah, kicking, punting, I ain't messing with that, bro. I know my limits. Mm -mm. I'll say I'm with Dante right there. I probably couldn't even make a one-yard field goal. Damn, Cam, that was a good-ass throw, bro. Kincaid. That's Kincaid. That's my favorite tight end in the nation. Yep. Fuck Damn, Michael Mayer. Him. They got, they got, they got the best uh, tight end time. Look at that catch, bro. Look at his that, hands, bro. Look at that. He caught it with hands too. Falling down, he caught it with the hands. I know people like Michael Mayer, but I'm, a, I'm gonna go with Dalton Kincaid. You say Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Grunk is what they call him. Uh, they got the best tight end combination in the, in college football. Dalton Kincaid, Dalton Kincaid, and Koofy. Koofy. What the fuck? We didn't keep that nowhere close. Kickers, bro. He didn't even <laughs> try. The coach had to laugh. He kicked it so bad. The coach laughed. His old coach what laughed. The fugues. Yeah, what the fugues, bro? <laughs> that was a good. That was, that was a good. What the fugues? I'm looking at Robert Sala face. Oh my goodness, he looked just <laughs> dead. <laughs> it was at that moment he realized I'm benching this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. He made the right decision. Bro, why does he look like a? 
What does uh Mike Mayo look like a baby uh no he looks like a baby um what's his face? Looks like a baby RG3 with the way he has his dreads. <laughs> Yo, that. we ain't talking about RG3. He had the dirty braids, bro. True. We, me and my dad call him dirty braids. <laughs> <laughs> he just I saw that I saw the way that the braids were and I was like, why that look like RG3 a bit? Alright, hold on. This is the kickoff? Yo, yep. are we about to put another okay. kickoff on with the Alan, bro? Okay. They go Allen. They go Allen. We Man, about to put another you should just oh. you should have just stayed in bounds. You know the kicker didn't got enough strength to tackle you. He ain't in any tackling drills or practice. Come on, dog. I don't understand why dudes that are doing kick returns are scared to be tackled by the kicker. Unless their name is Pat McAfee, these motherfuckers right? ain't in any tackling drills, bro. You could have just ran through him. That always amazes me. Like, Look at that. Uh, he did. <laughs> if he did. Oh my god, bro. That shit drives me crazy. If I ever coach at the college level, I'm going to tell him. Run through the kicker. He's Bulldoze not. the kicker. He's, yeah. You, he's not going to bring you down. They can't call a penalty on that. That was a little low, but good decision. Yeah. You know what? If I'm a coach and if I know I'm going against your team, I'm, I'm going to make sure the kicker's doing nothing but hitting in the weight room. Actually, that was a good pass because he put it on the way his receiver could get it right there. You kind of want to throw low on those uh, inside curl routes like that. He had two people open, too. Yeah, he did. The one right next to him. Pump fake. Uh, <sighs> I thought he was about to get away. Yeah, was trying. I was good. It was a good tackle right there by number seven. He was looking for, uh, if you see Charbonnet, Charbonnet he just, just kind of stayed there. Yeah, look at him. He just kind of stayed there instead of just running up Phil. Run up Phil. Run up Phil. Run up. And then he was like, fuck. He was like, shit. <laughs> oh, there go number seven. He tried to make a play. Or he did make a play. Yeah, he did make the initial play. He made the play. There you go again. Oh, goodness. Ankles crazy. broken. Ankles yo, again. Yo, he's, trying to, try he's trying to kill people out there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is a man that does not care for your family. He does not care if you have a family. Nope. Damn. Get your ass out of here. Watch him just try to run over and let let look. <laughs> he said, silly bitch, your weapons cannot harm me. I am the juggernaut. Number 11 actually lost that battle right now. Yeah. <laughs> the guy still got hit. <laughs> oh, Sharper Day's a senior? Yeah. What? I thought he was a junior. Quarterback keeper again. You get to see him at the senior bowl. What was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sh well, that's if they come. So, uh, that's yeah. a very fair point. Dude, this roster is going to. That senior bowl roster is going to be He's gonna elite be this year. <laughs> I, not everybody can play, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> we gonna get slide? like one play. All the quarterbacks, you get one throw because we got to put the next guy in. If I was a quarterback in this draft class, if I was able to stay, like Bryce Young and CJ Stroud and all them, I would stay one more year. I mean, why not? Because it's gonna be st well. Those are the two that are gonna get chosen right away. But yeah. for the other guys that are like hovering around second, third, fourth rounds, just stay one more year because you know you're not. It's it's impossible to get chosen that high with this many quarterbacks. Oh, I mean, yep. this is definitely the draft. At, even if it's just as a backup, I'm, every team should just take one of these quarterbacks. I'm telling you, you're gonna see somebody in this draft uh, jump up to try to get a quarterback. You ain't gonna see like last yeah. draft. You didn't see too many people easily jumping well, up. To I, try I'm to gonna get just a quarterback. say right now. Well, you didn't have to jump up to get a quarterback because Kenny Pickett was the first one taken with. Number twenty-two overall, I believe, in the twenties anyway. So, oh, he should have just kept up. What, well, like, I, what, what is this? Even if, even if you took quarterback last year, all these quarterbacks are better than the quarterbacks in last year's class. Yeah, like, even for the Steelers, I know By you just far. took Kenny Pickett in the first round last year. So, <laughs> take another. Bro, one. I was telling Heather's family; they're all Steelers fans. You're like, you're like Kenny Pickett. I did. I said that dude's ass. I said he's not good. <laughs> and then, and then he made a couple questions. Like, Come on, Kenny. I'm like, I don't, I don't even lose my mind because I know he's ass. Uh, Bigford said, "How excited are you for the Senior Bowl? One through ten. 
Bro, did you not hear the news? Most of us in this crew are going to the Senior Bowl. Right? Like, not it's like it's like get, it's like ninety percent confirmed we'll be there. I'm still uh, December first. They pushed it out. I got to do. Apparently, I got to go through one more round of uh, credential uh, applications. But once I do that, we in there like swimwear, baby. So I'm, I'm excited. We're gonna cover that shit the whole week. Oh, look at him go! Oh, ah! oh, oh he almost God. got him out the way too. To quote Key, this man is a bowling ball with feet. Mm -hmm. The Chiefs have placed Clyde Edwards Hilaire on IR. Good riddance. Bro, I did. I did. Then. Are all these quarterbacks better than De Desmond Ritter? Absolutely. I would Absolutely. Put <laughs> you can name about 12 quarterbacks. Actually, let's go down the list real quick. Let's go down the list real quick. That's one of them right now. Yeah, Doran Thompson Robinson's better. Desmond Ritter's very vanilla, man. I'm going to just go through the, the offensive leaders with passing that are coming out. Michael Penix Jr., is he better? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, is Jaden Delora a, uh, a senior? No, he's a sophomore, so he's going to stay. Kyle Van Trees. Senior. He's better. <laughs> He's balling out this year. Uh, Caleb Williams, better. Will Rogers, better. Yep, better. Clayton Toon, uh, it just depends on the day. It just depends on, no, nah, but I don't think I give it to. Yeah. I'll put it this way. I'll be surprised if Ritter gets drafted. He, no, Ritter, Ritter's on the Falcons. Desmond Ritter. Oh, I don't know why. For whatever reason, I heard Rattler. Oh. Pin and Hooker, better. Tanner yeah. Mordecai, better. Jaron Hall, better than Zach Wilson. <laughs> Sam Hartman is probably going to stay one more year, but he's better. Bo yeah, Nix. I know. I... Bo Nix is better. Bo Nix is a hundred times better. I hate to say this. Actually, I don't think he's better than Stetson Bennett. Seth Hennigan from Memphis, he's better. CJ Stroud's better. Max Dugan is better. Dukin. Uh Aiden O'Connell, it just depends on the day he can be better from Purdue. Uh Doran Thompson Robinson, we talked about him. Better. Chase Bryce from Appalachian State. Better. <laughs> Bryce Young. Like Will Levis is butt, man. He is. I not don't think good. Will Levis is better than Redder. Will Levis is not that Somebody good. is gonna take somebody's gonna pull a jet. And they're gonna take Will Levis. So that's the equivalent of taking. I, 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 I'm gonna predict it right now. Someone is taking Will Levis in the first round. Uh, yeah, I, I'm telling I you why. I, I know that's gonna happen. Why. They gonna, That's just how they're gonna value him. I'm, I'm gonna just say right now, if you can see that Will Levis can go in the first round, and anyone can declare for this draft. But number six, that's number sixteen again. He's been getting his butt whooped all day. Mm-hmm. Number sixteen took a whooping today for you talk. If I'm a Jets fan, and if I see that we went from Sam Darnold to Zach Wilson to then draft uh, Will Levis, it's over. I'm retiring as a Jets fan. <laughs> he said, calm down, Manny. I just threw his name. <laughs> calm calm yourself, young buck. Yeah, I don't think you heard us. We did a film study on him last year. Just go to the film study playlist on Will Levis. Chris Rodriguez is, is a beast. Yes. Chris Rodriguez, excellent player. Oh, Jake. Jake. You gotta catch it. Jake Bobo, come on, man. Bubba. You gotta catch it, Bobo. Ah. Hey, Jake. Jake Bobo, come on, man. Come on, How man. How you gonna get to play with your twin, Justin Herbert, if you don't catch that, bro? Come on, man. That ball right there in his hand, and he wide open. Oh. Yeah, I guess that is confirmed. Davis Mills has been officially benched. Oh, yeah, it's yep. confirmed. Well, 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 yeah, he deserved it because the way he's played this year. You think he'd be. You think with that long neck of his, he'd be able to see the entire field? He even saw. He even saw. Right, yes. Oh, okay. Wait, he dropped it again. Is that a touchdown? Oh, they he gave it a touchdown. He crossed the pylon at that point. Okay, yeah. so that's Brown. Uh, and although he had another guy wide open in the backfield, or not in the backfield, but like in the back of the end zone.
Who does Hendon Hooker play like to me, Coach? Uh, Slay said, "Who does he play? Who does he kind of remind me of?" Um, well, first of all, he's very he's very mobile, but he's got a very good accurate arm. It ain't too much. I I, I can't I could I can't kind of make a comparison, but I, I can try to make the best comparison. It reminds me of Jacoby Brissett. I was gonna go. You know what? I was actually gonna go with an old school player who I like, but he he, he struggled throwing the he struggled throwing the ball. I was gonna compare him to an old school player, Geno Smith. I mean, not Geno Smith, but Deshaun Watson is an excellent compare comparison. Is an excellent game comparison. The only thing about this guy, he's very athletic and can he can do uh, he can do other things. But he played the quarterback position, so I'm a judging by quarterback position. And the only reason he kind of didn't work out is because he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't accurate enough. He wasn't really accurate enough, but he's more very athletic than uh, Hendon Hooker was. But like he was more versatile uh, than Hendon Hooker. Hendon, him and Hendon Hooker. Hendon Hooker is very athletic. I was going to go with Cordero Stewart from Cordell the Pittsburgh. Stewart. Oh, Cordell yeah, Stewart. Better yeah. accurate arm. Better accurate arm, though. Better accurate arm from uh, Hendon Hooker. But he's just as athletic. But Hendon, uh, the only thing about it, Cordero Stewart can play everything. He can play everything. He can do everything. He's more versatile. He's just more versatile. And if you want to put him at receiver, you can put Stewart at receiver. He, you can put him at receiver. If you want to put him at running back, he can actually do it. But Deshaun Watson is a very good comparison. Both accurate. Both can uh, run up out the pocket. It just Stewart was just was more dynamic than he was. He can go. He can go for position. To, any skill position he could play. He just could play. That's just it. Mm. Cam Rising's tough, man. <laughs> I just like Cam Rising, man. He's, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's an excellent quarterback. Again, I feel like every team needs to take a quarterback, even if they're just your backups. That's you what know, I'm saying. Cordell Stewart has an inconsistent arm. That's why that's why he didn't last too long. He had an inconsistent arm. His arm wasn't that good. He even returned kicks at one point. Yep. Yep. Yeah, dude. That's why they used to call him Slash, because there's like quarterback slash, kick return at slash, wide receiver slash, running back. That's what that's what Cordell Patterson is now. It's funny that they got the same damn name, just spelled differently. <laughs> but yeah, Cam Risen's one of those quarterbacks, dude, that's like, yeah, I can stand in the pocket and hit you up, and then you totally forget that he can scramble out the pocket and do a couple of things, too, like... Oh, I got this in my bag of tricks. I'm some of a scientist myself. God, I'm something <laughs> of an escape artist myself. Oh, Chip Kelly said, what the fuck are we doing? That's not Charbonnet. Ooh, that dude quick. Who's number 22? Hold up, bro. Jones? Hold up. Wait a minute. Number 91, just give up. Yo ass ain't going to catch him ever in this lifetime. <laughs> he was he was trying on the line. Look at him, bro. He's breathing hard. <laughs> like, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, I can't make it. Jones is like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he goes. You know, somebody I'm put the tired myself. Somebody put the little Flintstone sound effect on, on Jones's legs right there. <laughs> yeah, bad dabba do, motherfuckers. <laughs> Number 91 went, you know, I'm somewhat tired myself. Mm hmm. Oh, there he goes again. Where's 91? Don't. Do oh, Yo, 91. Ankle you can't snatched. tackle him, bro. Mm -hmm. 91. Bro. I, I thought that was number snatched. 16 again, because number 16, we just just been getting his butt whooped all day long. That's number 21 this time, mister. Yo, Oops, you, you know, look at the cutback. You know who Sharpen A reminds me of? Adrian Peterson, bro. Oh, is it mm. Keegan Jones? Okay. There go that formation. I can agree with that with the Adrian Peterson thing or comparison. It's a run. Oh, they, they actually got a, a, a wide receiver on that side. This man jumped. That legal ass formation. Jump, man, jump, man, jump.
Hey, yo, apparently this Philadelphia Eagles Christmas album is coming up. Yeah. If y'all motherfuckers, I'm telling y'all right now, if y'all motherfuckers end up losing and, and turn out to be terrible, you know what they're going to blame it on. Their offensive linemen's heads weren't in the game. They're out there recording Christmas albums. <laughs> Why you sound um, like the you sound like the E2 guy. <laughs> oh E2 <laughs> <laughs> E2 Oh, he's holding he on this guy word. accountable. He said a bad word. I like that, man. I like when dudes hold their their team uh, pause. I like when players hold their uh, their teammates accountable. ECG be praying on the Eagles' downfall. How? Slay how? I said that. I thought y'all could go undefeated. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just said I like when you guys lose because y'all shut the fuck up on Twitter. But y'all don't really think, don't. Y'all be making every excuse say, in the I don't motherfucking think they book. Do. They really don't. <laughs> Ah, Ooh, Jim Bobo. Bobo. There you go. There you go. The That's ref, what I'm talking about. The ref had that man cover than the actual defender. The ref had better coverage. I did I I don't care what the Eagles do, I just need them to lose a couple more games because you know why they won't be 16 and 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll shut up, it'll shut up Eagle Champ. It'll shut him up. That way uh Jonathan Gannon will be an easy scapegoat of this team. And then Jimmy's going to lose his mind on Twitter. Yep. <laughs> Hold on, pause. Pause right there. Go back. Pause. Go back like a couple of seconds. Talking about the referee? No. Hold up. Pause now. Look at that cheerleader's face. She is so unamused. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this motherfucker. Look at the, look at the cheerleader in the back. The, the guy yeah, that's cheerleader. What I'm, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo, why she wear that much lipstick? She ain't give like, a fuck that she day, is bro. So, she is so unamused. She's like, I fucking hate that guy. I uh, used the cranberry sauce as lipstick today. <laughs> <laughs> what the Fuchs is an amazing segment, man. That, that's about to be on What the Fuchs. <laughs> why you? Yeah, but Jonathan Gannon wasn't the reason the Eagles were getting beat. In the in the first game, I mean, like in um in against the Colts, that defense played as hard as they could. Man, that offense has not been good for the past couple of weeks. But people still blaming it on Jonathan Gannon. You can't blame that game on no Jonathan Gannon. They gave up sixteen points. What you want them to do if the offense can't get going? You you want them to shut them out? You expect yes. Gannon's defense to shut them out? Yes. Not really. They gonna get no, gas. I mean, they do. They absolutely expect that. Yes. Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Now you know where we coming from. You know what you coming from. You know where I'm coming from. They expect them to shut it out, shut them out, and they can't. Yeah, you can you can blame the Washington game on him, but at the same time, the offense wasn't that good either, though. If you just look at it, the offense was, wasn't that good in the Washington game either. The offense wasn't that good. They turned the ball over four times in the game. As well, they did. The offense, so you, I don't mind y'all blaming the game on Gannon, but it's 50-50 on that one because the offense then wasn't really good against Washington, against the commanders either. The offense wasn't that good. They turned the ball over four times, but no, nah, you can't blame from – from uh, Washington having the ball forty minutes of the game, so I do, I do go, do get y'all that. I do get a, you know, that offense didn't play bad, but they didn't play great. They wasn't, they wasn't good in the game. They gave, they, they, he threw it. Jalen Hurts threw an interception, which wasn't his fault. Was threw an interception, was one, which wasn't his fault at all. Then uh, you had two, three fumbles. You had three fumbles. That's turnover. That two, three turnovers. You had three turnovers in the game. Then the defense had to come back out on the field. Hold up, though. Big Fridge, I've been rocking with you the long way, the strong way, my man. But for you to say that Jalen Hurts is a Walmart Mariota. This man, Caffin. I up. never was really that high on Mariota coming out of college. Where's the timeout button? Mariota is a definition to me 
of delete this has a high ceiling but has never reached it ever he's that dude that you got the snacks all the way up on the top shelf of the pantry and the step stool can't reach that high that's that's marcus mario oh you're kidding okay i was about to say bro <laughs> He's been All hanging right. out with Logan and the Giants fans too much. Mm. Have you saying anything? Well, Logan is the same one, too. They got extra helmets in there? And shoulder pads? Oh, shit. I didn't know that. You see that right there? Yeah. It's, it's and they had little... extra helmets and shoulder pads. Listen, what man, the fuck? I never knew they did that. Extra helmets and shoulder pads? Be hurting. All right, we'll, so we'll, we'll flop you out real quick. It's hard as hell to take your your jersey and shoulder pads off in the middle of a fucking game when you when your shit all sweaty, bro. That'd be the worst shit, bro. I don't know. I don't know if you uh, y'all y'all ain't played football before, right? Nah, I never played football before. Nah. So those jerseys are way tighter than what they seem. They're not loose. So when you try to take your shit off, it's like it be all up here. Oh like, yeah, you ah, see it all the time. You, get, you see you all the time somebody jersey you. swaps when they're like literally yanking it off. They're like, ah, mm -hmm. kill me. Ooh, that was a laser beam. Who was that? Uh -oh. oh, number 17. Oh, that boy gone. Yup, he is it. But look at the pass, though. Hold up, what pressure in his face? It was a crossing route, too, though. Let me see. Yup, know, they brought the whole deep, they brought the linebackers up, you know, mm. too. And he just was, it was just a foot race throughout the whole time. Okay, number 86, I see you going down now. Yeah, nice little chip block. All you gotta do is just throw a dude off balance. You ain't gotta block him on the damn back. Jerseys have no stretch to them at all. It'd be the worst, bro. Wait, did they turn the ball over? Or is that a kick return? Oh, oh, no. Cam Rising just <laughs> fucked up. He gone. He gone. That brother gone. That they call it back. And that shit came out right away. He said, I can't believe this shit. Oh, no, I was. Okay. That's where shit started to get out of hand. Oh, we got that crown. Is that the hamstring? Mm -hmm. You pull that hamstring or that crown? Is that crown? Yeah, we got that crown. Give him the pickle juice. Give me another Powerade bottle, please. Yeah, give him the pickle juice. The last one was grape flavor. I ain't like it. Ooh. Trevor Lawrence game. trash ass needs to be benched too. He's been playing. He's been playing well enough not to get benched. Plus, they had a bye week last right that last week, so hopefully he gets his fucking life together. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Dante. I fucking hate that dude, man. I don't, I don't, I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I just, the, I'm just not as hyped up on him as, as a lot of other motherfuckers are. Uh, you tell me, I, I never hated anybody in my life, but the one quarterback I hated the death was Brock Osweiler. So really, trash. I hated that boy. I can't stand that dude. I hate, <laughs> I hate that dude so much. I just want to. I wish I could have saw him. I would have tied him up, put a rope around his neck. Put a, rope around, <laughs> put a rope around his neck, lift him up, put him on one of them Texans horns that we got, and just took and just took my bat and beat the hell out of him. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I hated that dude so bad when he was the quarterback. I swear. Damn. 
That was the worst quarterback in Texan history that I ever seen. Mm. Brock Osler versus Coach Dante in the fight. <laughs> oh, I'm taking Coach all day. <laughs> so first round KO. Man, Coach was about to use the shotgun. <laughs> it was so bad. It got so bad. It got so bad. Man, the man literally threw the ball towards the sideline. Literally hit one of the damn chilies. Almost hit one of the chilies with the ball. I don't agree with you. He still could man. knock him down. Yeah. Man. He was still trying to put on the Heisman stiff arm. <laughs> He's like, just give me the Heisman, please. He I got the pose down. Dorian might be a little bit of a hothead. Was he worse than Chris Ricks? Fuck, nobody was worse than Chris Ricks ever in their motherfucking life. <laughs> Chris Ricks can. Man, I don't even want to talk about Chris Ricks, dog. I'm just imagining, like, you know how you said when you were a kid you got, like, an invitation to one of his camps or whatever. I'm just imagining in the future, say you do get, like, the, because I know you've mentioned as a joke, but also seriously, if you had twins, you're naming your kids on and four, because your mm -hmm. last name is Cell. Imagine if your kids were like, Dad. He got paid. He got paid because of Rick Smith paid him. Bill O'Brien didn't want Brock Osweiler. Rick Smith was so sold on Brock Osweiler game after he played on only 10 games. And he uh, threw 10 touchdowns and only six interceptions. Only six interceptions. So Rick Smith did that, being desperate for a quarterback when Bill O'Brien didn't even want him. You see Bill O'Brien didn't play with him. He benched him after he gave up the game, almost gave up the game against the Jaguars at home. And Tom Savage had to come in to save, save us, pretty much. Tom Savage was ass. Yeah, he was. But he so did. if you're talking he, about got, that you hate Brock yeah. Osweiler worse, damn, that's... Yeah, That's next level. Because the only thing I respect Tom Savage because he saved us in that Jaguars game at home. He saved us really because he didn't turn the ball up. He was a game manager, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he was he was terrible. Savage was terrible. Anyways, to get back to what I was saying, I'm just imagining like in the near future, your kids are like, Dad, I got this uh, invitation to a football camp. Oh yeah, where from? This Chris Ricks football camp. I'm just imagining Fuck your Chris reaction. Ricks. <laughs> I'm just imagining your reaction. To that. I ain't paying no 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 amount of money. We, we need no amount of money, bro. He would not line. I would not line his pockets ever. Where's Brock Osweiler now? I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can find a Chris Ricks jersey and bring that up to Philly and be like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ECG one line. Need Brock to find a new place to stay. Hey, hey, hey. He's an ECG one line. He was, the dude was ass. Uh, Tom Savage was terrible. Just awful. Yeah, he was ass at Pitt. I don't know why people like this that so much. It's just that game I got a little more respect for him than Brock Osweiler because he saved us in that doesn't game it, against Jacksonville. Does it burn you up, Coach, that Brock Osweiler was a Super Bowl champion when he was backing up Tom or uh, Peyton Manning? <laughs> no, it didn't burn me up. It, it didn't burn me up. It didn't burn me up as much because it didn't burn me up He'd as be like, much. Fuck as you, as Coach. I'm a Super Bowl champion. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just burned. It just burned me. It just burned me up because we paid him a lot of money. And Tom, Ooh. like I said, John Elway know. John Elway know what type of quarterback uh, he was because he see him at practice, so he knew. John Elway just knew. He did the right thing and not paying him. Look at this run, bro. This illegal ass formation. Here we go. The odds were not in his favor here. My fucking goodness, bro. The vision. That was an excellent run. You're on mute, coach. I said he was just dragging number 83 on his back. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, what the fuck, bro? Hold up. 
That shit was next level right there. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> Zach he fathered a downs, bunch of kids. Man. Yes, he did. Let's see here. One. Yeah. Can't break him down. That yeah. was almost run of the year right there, bro. Yeah. Look at how. He said, I <laughs> will not go down. That's crazy, dude. This he man kept on foot moving, though. And said, I won't yeah. back down. And it's like, when you're playing, you number don't see how number you don't see how crazy eight. these runs are. I bet you when they walk that shit in the film room that way, they're like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, y'all That's good. He need to stay there. Brock Osweiler well, need to stay. And Brock Osweiler well, is currently an ESPN college for all a college football analyst. His he ass wasn't need, anything special at Arizona State. He need to sit his dumb ass be, down. You don't need to be talking about no college quarterbacks at all. You damn sure wasn't no good quarterback. Well, they've got a Chris Ricks collectibles card I can get. You. Brock Osweiler was the type of quarterback that needs to work on Sundays. That even need to work on Sundays after the game. He don't need to need to take no break. He was one of those quarterbacks in Houston. He needs to work every single day, even on a Sunday. If you didn't have a football game, you need to work on Sun. Need to work on Sundays. If you had training camp, you need to work on Sunday. After the game, you need to work. Mm-hmm. Yo, my neighbor's next level. Not only is he old as shit and out of his mind. I'm about to say, this, is this the crazy one? Yeah, this dude rock a bald head, right? Rock a fucking bald head, and it's the middle of the fucking winter time. It's cold as shit outside, my man. You are a brave soul. Is he taking his trash to somebody else's trash can? Every time. Hold on, bro. You better not. I'm like watching on my phone. I'm about to say you're about to see Dante just spring out of his chair and start running. Oh no, he didn't. Oh wait, he just passed another trash can. Oh no, he didn't put it in that one either. Okay, maybe ever since I yelled at him on one day, he he, he stopped. I say, hey yo, what the fuck? Get that shit out my trash can. He would literally walked out of his house, put some shit in my trash can, and I ran. I was watching on my phone while I was working. I ran straight to my bedroom, opened up the the window, and I said, "Hey, yo, get that shit out my trash can, dog." So you're just gonna run it the whole time now? Run the clock I down. Guess. Might, I guess. Might as well. Yeah, ain't nobody can stop this dude, bro. Especially after seeing that run. Oh my goodness. Three guys and still he are. Third uh, and three. Still a gain of six. You gotta get DTR one more passing yard, though. Why? Uh, the the three hundred, yeah. <laughs> May yeah, he's three hundred, yeah. Jones. He said, "Was Brock Osweiler really that bad?" Yes, motherfucker. Ass. Yes, he really that goddamn bad. Hell <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> bad. That bad. That was when Coach first learned the phrase "booty butt butt." Mm -hmm. Oh my, my God! God. Oh, he no. Hey, Christ. who is that? That's Phillips, the captain, Captain Phillips. 
Yep. At this point where Utah gained hope. Hold on, though. I need to go back and see how bad that was. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Let me see. What Phillips came? Yo, that was really bad. Phillips set up on that the whole time. Doran, look. He's just going out in the flat. Yo, like He sat down, sat down the whole time and looked at that. Look, he was staring him up the whole time. Charbonnet would have been a better, better read there. Damn. None of them were open. That's one of the ones where you're keeping it running, Dorian. Mm -hmm. To be completely honest. He knows it too. That's one of the ones you tell yourself, I'm not gonna throw it. I'm not gonna throw it again. Like that. And then you do it later on in your career. And it was at oh, that moment they knew they fucked up. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they just gonna get in victory formation now. Yep. Yeah. Well that was the game! Zach Sharp and they had like four excellent runs. The rest of them were just get first down, get first down, get first down. But he had like four or five runs that were just like absolutely dominant. I'm willing to say he's one of, to me, he's better than Bijan Robinson. I was about to say, I'd take him over Bijan. <laughs> Uh, he's, now, uh, like I say, I, like I say, I don't know if who, if I take him over B. John Robinson, but I mean, he definitely looked good. He definitely looked pretty solid. Uh, he definitely reminds me a lot about B. John, B. John Robinson. Of uh, B. John Robinson, they both got the same running style. I just think Charbonnet has a way better offensive line, but he the dude can run. The dude can run. B. John doesn't really have an offensive line, so. Uh, I don't know if I'm taking him over Bijan, but he's definitely uh he's de he's definitely remind reminds me of the same caliber running back like him. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean he's he's I think Zach Charbonnet is a more complete version of what Bijan Robinson can be. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. That's that's just me. I mean, but, yeah, yeah. Like I say, I think like um, I'm not. I'm like I say, I'm I'm not gonna. I may I'm not taking Bijan over Zach Charbonnet. I think they both is the same type of type of back. It's just that I think Zach has the better offensive line. I just think he has the better offensive line than Bijan. Bijan, everything he when he runs, um, when he runs, he doesn't have a clear hole. Most of most of his runs is just him. Zach Charbonnet does have a better offensive line, but he runs so hard and physical, just like. Bijan, so I just take, I just, yeah, like I say, they both the same caliber running back, so that's like me saying, I'll take a tie, either one, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, well, this was a, this was a good game. He did yep. end with like nine yards to carry or something crazy like that. So, but uh, we appreciate everybody yep. rocking out with us, man. Um, we'll probably do, I don't know, we'll probably do another one here pretty soon. Y'all, okay. y'all want to, y'all want to do another one here in like, I don't know, like twenty minutes. I'm gonna get some. Yeah, we could just uh, hit me up. So, are you good with that? Uh, I think so. I should right. be. Oh, I got, got your ass this time. Fruit flies, bro. <laughs> Fucking fruit flies, dog. I can't stand it. All right, we appreciate everybody. Um, I'll, I'll pick another player randomly. I put some names okay. in the hat and I just picked them. Actually, not this, not this one, because I want to. I know Coach was uh, harping on uh, Zach Sherman. Eh? Yeah. So uh, we'll uh, we'll pick another quarterback. We'll or another player, and we'll uh, 